chromosome disorder. He's born with it, and some people with it. It also affects your vision. Jeff has a physical disorder that causes tumors to develop on the optical nerve, and that's required a pretty serious treatment and chemotherapy. It's left him legally blind. And started intense radiation every day for six weeks. The radiation doctors feel very strongly that Claude is dead. His last few eye exams show no more vision loss, bolstering the hope that the tumor has stopped its dirty work. Nice penguin outfit, kid. And regardless of how it all turns out, Jeff will keep inspiring everyone with his great positive spirit, his sparkling humor, and his crusade to do all he can so others won't have to lose their sight to optic tumors. So this event is a farewell to Claude. Yeah! And we're going to release the balloons and say goodbye, Claude. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Goodbye, Claude. Woo! you must live a little bit more of a secluded life and under this roof we needed to find tremendous happiness and so that's when the paints came out. We're among the dozens of neighbors and even strangers who came to Jeff's Bistro to buy baked goods, gifts and specialty note cards hand painted by Bistro CEO and President Jeff Hansen. Started painting note cards and selling them for charity. It was when people found out where the funds were going. That really then spread like wildfire. By selling his mom's treats and the note cards he makes by the hundreds, Jeff now has raised $13,000. Now, when he was undergoing chemotherapy, a Make-A-Wish Foundation approached him, but he said, you know, what I'd really like to do is meet Elton John someday. They got uh, great seats right in the front at the concert, and Elton John met with them behind stage. Jeff and his hero talked for 15 minutes and hit it off like old friends. Before they left, he reached in his pocket and pulled out a check to give to Elton John for the Elton John AIDS Foundation for $1,000. Elton wanted to bless Jeff, but Elton was the one who was blessed by Jeff. Elton asked Jeff, uh, have you ever been to Dubai? Well, how about if you and your mom and dad come, I'll fly you over there and we can spend some more time. I want to hear more of your story. The family to the Persian Gulf, all expenses paid. It's so amazing, going out of the water. A couple weeks later, Jeff receives a telephone call from the foundation that he supports. They said, Jeff, you won't believe it. We just received a check from Elton John for $5,000 in your name. Elton has ordered some paintings from Jeff that he's going to use. We're going to put those in the houses of his AIDS foundation where some of the victims live. Mountain John has told me, if you give to the world, the world will give back. You know, a kid who's 12 and 13 years old understands what life is really about. And though he could have had a pity party and felt sorry for himself, he focused his attention on helping other people. In the process of that, other people were changed. And all of that returned back to be a blessing for him. The combination of color and texture make for stunning results. As you can tell, they're all abstract. I do all abstract and contemporary art. 14-year-old Jeff Hansen's talent, as vivid as his paintings. We were in Bermuda, and we had um, a balcony, and we kind of sit on the balcony and looked and see the colors that we saw. Jeff knows large. His world sees large, bright, and colorful. Jeff's gift is his art. It's his signature in this world. Jeff paints happiness. He is the most positive individual I have ever met in my life.
$100,000 to charities in Kansas City and around the world. of high-profile friends. Sir Elton John and Warren Buffett, Bill Gates. So ladies and gentlemen, if these people are buying Jeff Hansen stuff, you buy Jeff Hansen stuff. I think Jeff's figured it out at a very young age, and he is certainly using his talents to help other people of our world.